Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm gonna to show you how to remove different styles of drawers that really aren't very obvious on how to remove them. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So here is a dresser drawer, and you pull it out and it kind of stops, it pinches. There's no guide rails along the side here. There's a little plastic bumper along here though, and so generally, all drawers are removable. Uh, generally, you'll pull it out until it stops, and then you lift the front up, and they will generally come out. Now, this one is odd. It's got a wooden cleat that runs down the center of this that mates with this guide here. So you can see on the back of this is a channel that that, that, that cleat rides in, and it's just it's friction. These things really aren't meant to go in and out very often, and then it's a pain in the rear end to try to get it to match up again. See what I mean? There, got it. Some of these drawers will also have a plastic clip along the back that sits along the top and rides along a rail along the top of the opening. So be on the lookout for that as well. Now these are pretty high quality kitchen cabinets. And as I open this up, there are no guide rails on the bottom either. Uh, you might see paint here. I actually painted these cabinets and uh, you can see I covered the front, not necessarily to do the back. But uh, these, these are on the bottom here and let me turn the camera around so you can see. All right, so right now you're looking at my ceiling. I'm gonna show you the underside of this cabinet. This is why I say they're pretty high quality. You can see under here, the rails are underneath the bottom of the drawer and they're completely hidden. And we've got these orange handles on either side. And those handles are releases uh, to free the drawer. So I can pull this all the way out and you can hear it, it stops. Well, if I take my hand and put them on each handle, squeeze that, the drawer comes out like so. And to put it back, it's just a complete reversal. There's a lot of stuff in this drawer, so it's kind of heavy. There's two ways to put this thing back in. I generally will just pull the rails out until they snap into place, like so, and close the drawer. The other way is just to uh, sit the drawer on top of the rails and go ahead and push it in and you'll hear, once you finally seat the drawer, it'll click once it gets closed and that's that. These are drawers to a kitchen island. Uh, these are also very high quality and they have this the soft close feature, like so. And these, again, will pull out fully extended and you can see the rails are hidden under here, but these you can lift up on the end and that little dowel right there freeze it up to remove it. So once I lift up and pull out, it's freed. So once again, I lift up on this and these pins come out and I can now pull the drawer out. And you can see that on the back of this rail, there's two little teeth, one at the end here and one at the end here. And they go in to the back of this drawer. This, uh, this piece cut out here is where the the rail sits and that tooth goes right in, right into that little hole. So again, it's a matter of setting the drawer back on the rails. And you have to get the teeth in first in the back. Otherwise, these little rails won't seat. Yeah. All right, the last drawer I'm gonna show you is of a uh, uh, vanity that just hangs on the wall and these are probably the most difficult to figure out. You can see this has a, a hole cut in the drawer for the trap of the sink and uh, everything else is underneath so let's go underneath this drawer. All right I'm going to pull this drawer out and you're going to see the underside of it and the uh, rails are on either side and these are these are hard to really even notice but you can see the rail there this drawer does not move. I can't pull it up or pull it out any farther. But if you look closely, there's a little plastic clip right here 
it pulls out like that. Locked, unlocked. You do that on either side and then the drawer will lift up. And that's that's all there is to it. And it's got it's got a little dowel here that fits into the underside of the drawer to hold it in place. Uh, but once it's in place, then everything just locks in together and it locks in like so. Opens and closes like normal. Sometimes it's really frustrating trying to figure out how some of these weird drawers get out of the cabinet, but I hope this video helped you out how to do that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.